Okay, so we're gonna ask Jess a few questions about weight loss and how to get started. So Jeff, what is the best exercise to do for weight loss? Most definitely is um, cardiovascular training, aerobic zone, but what I want to do is get you into your anaerobic zone. So it's short bursts of energy, which are gonna spike your heart rate. That's gonna burn calories exponentially quicker, faster, efficiently. And that way we don't have to spend hours on top of the trampoline doing it. Maybe a half an hour. Maybe a half an hour. So a half an hour on top of the trampoline. What is your goal heart rate? Um, anywhere maybe between 60 to 85%. But when we do our interval training of that 20 seconds of on, I want you closer to your 85% max. So you will be sucking some wind, sister. <laughs> awesome. So. We use a trampoline for cardio. We're saying maybe 30 minutes once a day, twice a day, three or four times a week. What would be optimal? I would say maybe two times a week, maybe maximum of 30 minutes per because we want to be really time efficient. I don't, we have such busy times on our schedule that I want you to feel really efficient with the time you put forth with your exercise. So it's so efficient that when you walk away, you feel satisfied. Fantastic. So let's talk about interval training on the trampoline itself. So what kind of moves or exercises should we be doing? Uh, maybe take us through like two, just like a real quick two minute version of what it would be. Okay, so the beauty of this mm -hmm. is that when we're doing things on land, sometimes when it's impact ridden, when we're on land and we're working against gravity, you can't keep up with the intensity that what you could when you get on the trampoline because the trampoline is actually forgiving that you can actually do things on here low impact but you can still amp up the intensity the beauty of it is you're working with your body weight so we're doing cardiovascular weight tra weight training cardiovascular conditioning and we're dealing with flexibility so that's three key facets of physical fitness i as a trainer want to cover i want to get that across to you that you get the benefits of all those things when you're up on top of the trampoline so Okay, great. So let's do a few moves. Would that be okay? Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate for you. Okay, you're okay. going to demonstrate? Okay. So I'm going to step up on top of the trampoline. I'm going to take my feet wide. So we want to think about the face of our trampoline. We've got 12 o'clock in front, 6 o'clock behind. My feet are at 3 and 9 o'clock. We've got a basic bounce. So we're going to push down into the surface of the trampoline. This is engaging my core, so that's going to take care of ab work. Okay? And all I want you to do is just sort of sustain that bounce. Okay, that's going to increase your heart rate. I'm going to brace with my core and my abs are tight. So that's our basic bounce. We're not jumping high. So the ceiling is really low. Okay, so that's one move. How about just some basic jumping jacks? We do those on land. So in and out. Just incorporate your arms and your legs. Now we can work the room a little bit. We can turn, take in the sights. Smile at all the people walking by, okay? Then we can also jog on top. So that's beautiful. We can amp it up. And like I said, get to that 85% range and it's not really hurting my joints, okay? That's great, I all love right. it. Okay, so how long of each should we be doing? Like maybe like- Let's do 30? 20 seconds on. Okay. 10 seconds to rest. Okay. And then we're gonna repeat that. Okay, all so right. I'm gonna hand you the microphone. All right, so last five, four. How do you feel? Okay. Sucking a little bit of wind. Just a Three. Bit. How's she look, guys? Whee. Two and one. And I just want you to squat easy, recover. Ten seconds. You like lie about this being like an easy recovery. Well, we're keeping it easy. It's supposed to be about people being able to achieve things in a short period of time. Last move we're going to do are the jumping uh -huh. jacks. So okay. easy. You're going to jump in, you're going to jump out again. Remember that ceiling is low. So okay. give it a little trial run, feet wide, like that. good, that's perfect, in and out. How's your balance feel? Good. So proprioceptively, she's challenging herself in space. So we're going to do that for 20 seconds, all out, whatever she is totally uncomfortable with. Well, Are here. you ready, Rachel? I am, but you're going to have to take my glasses for that one. I will hold one. your glasses, beautiful. Okay. You ready? Yes. Go. 20 seconds, 19, 18, <laughs> 17. 16, look at her go guys, 15, 14, 13, 12, and we're heating her up big time, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four. I'm stuck. Four. I'm stuck. Four. <laughs> Stop it. Three, two, and one. Let's walk it out. Oh, Jesus. How do you feel, baby? Okay, that was bad. She's doing great. Oh. Okay, so that is just a sample of what you can do with high intensity <laughs> interval training. Okay. The beauty of that, guys, is that you burn five times more calories post exercise than what she was doing just now. So that's the beauty of it. We're going to rev up people's metabolisms. So that rocks. Good job, Rachel. Thank you, Dad. Bring it. <laughs> we'll see you guys at Fit Blogging. Thanks.